Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel. Myself Roslyn and in this video we will learn about the Power BI slices. And these are the different headings that we are going to cover in this video. First we will see what is Power BI slicer and why we use the slicers in Power BI visual. And also we will see what are the different types of slicers that are available in the Power BI. So let's begin with the Power BI slicers. Using the Power BI slicer we can filter the values based on our needs. Slicer is another way of filtering which helps users to filter and sort the information that are presented in the Power BI report. Without opening the filter pan window, we can easily filter and sort the information using the slicer visual. Now I will show you how to add the slicer visual into the Power BI desktop and filter the values accordingly. Initially, log into the Power BI desktop, load the data using the get data option. Here I have previously loaded the financial stable data. You can view it in the data view and go back to the report view here and under the visualization select the slicer visual presented here. Here I am going to drag and drop the product field into the slicer visual. You can see it displays only the product values. Now we will create the clustered column chart which displays the sales that happen based on the product. Now you can see the slicer visual has been added and we can easily filter the product here so that it also reflects in the clustered column chart. Here if I want to filter only for the PC product then if I select this particular product here you can see the clustered column automatically filters and displays the particular product value and also we have an option to clear the selection by simply click on the clear selection option. This is how we can add the slicer visual and filter the values in the Power BI report based on the requirement. Now we will learn what are the different types of slicers that are available in Power BI report. There are five different types of slicer that are available. Here you can see the numeric range slicer, relative date slicer, relative time slicer and response resizable slicer hierarchy slicer with multiple fields now i will show you example for each one of the slicer first we will go for the numeric range slicer here select the slicer visual here and remove the product field and drag and drop the sales field into here. by default it displays the slicer visual in list format we can choose the between format here and we can also increase the size of the slicer here you can see my slicer visual font size has been increased now this is the numeric grain slicer we can simply slide this slider here and the clustered column chart filters and displays the data accordingly this is how the numeric range slicer looks like next we will go for the relative date slicer using the relative date slicer we can filter the data for the next five months or the previous five months or the, or the particular month value now i will show you how to use it in the slicer visual remove the sales value here it removes the numeric range slicer and drag and drop the date field here and here you can see the relative date option is presented click on that relative date option and as i already said you can see the last next and the current month we can have these many options to filter in the relative date slicer for example here you can see i have filtered for the last eight months value if i clear the selection it displays the chart by default and i apply for last eight months it filters the date as well as it filters the chart value this is how we can use the relative date slicer in the power bi report next we will learn how to use the relative time slicer here in the date slicer make sure it is in the order date column and expand the select the type of slicer option and choose the relative time in the relative time we can only see two options one is minutes and another one is hours in my case i don't have any data for the last or next one hour or one minute if i apply filter also my tested column displays the null value just because i don't have any data in it. So using the relative time slicer we can filter only for the minutes and hours and we also have an option to clear selection for all the type of the slicers. Next we will see how to create an responsive and resizable slicer. The responsible slicer fits any page on the Power BI report. We can also resize the slicer with different shapes and size from an horizontal tile to square tile or to an vertical tile. By default when we add a slicer we should to the power bi report it will be in the vertical mode now we will see how to convert it to the horizontal slicer here you can see here i am going to remove the date field and choose the product field here you can see by default it displays the vertical manner now we will see how to change this vertical slicer to an horizontal slicer simply select 
the slicer visual go to the format your visual option under visual you can see the slicer settings and under the option there is an orientation here by default it is in the vertical mode choose the horizontal mode here here you can see the word slicer changes according to the selection it displays it displays the horizontal slicer visual this is how to resize the slicer visual in the power bi report canvas next we will see how to create an hierarchy slicer with multiple field values and the hierarchy slicer need multiple fields in a single slicer visual so that it displays in the hierarchy manner now we will see how to use it go to the slicer visual here and here you can see under the field section only single product is there now drag and drop the country field into the field section here you can see automatically it changes from the horizontal slicer to the vertical slicer to display it in the hierarchy manner here you can see it displays the product and country for each product and in the cluster column we are selecting the country visual for this particular product if i want to see only for the mexico country it displays only for the selected and filtered value this is how we can work with the hierarchy slicer and we can also have an option to clear this selection so that it displays the chart by default with this we came to the end of this video where we have learned what is power bi slicer and why we use the power bi slicer and what are the different types of slicer available and how we can use it in the power bi report canvas i hope you understood how to work with the different slicers in the power bi report and these are the free video tutorials that are presented in our youtube channel please check it out and please do subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos thank you